Hey guys, Mike here from Envy Creative, and welcome to episode two of the studio build out and tour, where we're gonna take you through the back part of the main studio and show you the rest of the standing sets that we have, how we built them, and some examples. So now we are in our living room set. And so this is just the corner of our living room set that it's a little reading corner with a little Davenport right here. We used FaceApp to get some of our actors to either uh, swap their gender in the app or make them old in the app. And then here just some, uh, just some photos that we've taken over the years, again, to just make it a little more personable. And then if we come over here, we just have a photo wall, nice photo wall. These are just photos. Uh, over the years, again, of our actors and our crew. And then we just have some shelves over here and over there. Again, all of these are movable and rollable. And we use a thing called museum wax to adhere things to, uh, that's not adhered. These are adhered, these are adhered. Uh, this is also rollable. So basically, again, everything's very modular so that we can take everything off of the set and put everything back if we need to. As you can see, this floor is really, really nice, a nice neutral color, and it kind of goes well with the rest of the furniture and the walls. And this was just laid by all of us here at the studio. Originally, it was this floor, and then we just wanted to take our set up to the next level. And so we just laid the floor out. Uh, it took a few hours, but it was definitely worth the investment. It looks like a real house and uh, looks really, really nice. And now we are here in our dining room set. We have all the place settings set up just so that they're ready to go in case we need to show a scene here. Uh, we also have some props on the walls. These don't do anything. This is an old nest, also doesn't do anything. This isn't a very heavy table. This is from Ikea, so we can move it in and out as we need to, as well as some nice chandelier lights. And then if we come over into the kitchen set, this is a counter. This is also movable so that we can move it around as we need to. This whole back counter is also movable. We do have the wheels down there. We just have a basic kitchen setup. This is a non-working sink. We do actually have a, a thing here that says do not pour because we have gotten people that have poured stuff down the sink before and it's just a prop sink. These are nothing special, just uh, some storage for normal kitchen items. This is a non-working fridge. We normally put a light in here, just one of our small LED lights if we need to show somebody actually opening up the fridge. And again, bowl of fake fruit. Everything is mostly a prop or set decoration and is not real just because we just wanna make sure that everything is set up when we're ready to shoot so that we can dive right in. We're not spending a lot of time setting things up. Now we are in the back part of our sets. So as you can see, all of our sets are back here. And then on the other side is where we store everything else. So here's a lot of our stands, our lighting, our lighting stands, and just anything that is on a stand kind of goes here that we can just grab and go as we need to. As you can see back there, that's the back part of our wall for the coffee shop. The cool thing about this is, as you can see, these are on wheels as well. And this whole wall is actually also modular. So if we ever need to shoot this way in the office set and go that way, all we need to do is just slide this wall all the way over here. And then we can shoot this way in the office set and we won't see the backside of the living room wall. So this is another part of the sets that make it so that everything is modular and that we can also have a fourth wall in both our office set and coffee shop set. So for instance, there are three of these, they're all on wheels and we put them in between the office and the coffee shop set. And so if you're doing an over the shoulder of the coffee shop set looking out, so you'll just see a bunch of shelving with a bunch of coffee products on it. And then on the other side is just plain white walls. So if you're looking the other way, we just put some set dressing with some office posters and it looks like the other side of the wall of the office. These are our shoot day products. So our accounts manager comes in when he sees the scripts, he puts all the products that we need to shoot for the shoot day. We do have a little sanitizer station for our lav mics. You can see one of our lav mics is in there right now. We have our production schedule where our PA puts uh, the different shoots that we're going to do for the day as well as the actor's call time. We do have some storage with some cables and some scrims and some tape. This is our charging wall. So everything again is pretty modular. So everything's charging in here. 
Uh, we have our charge basket, normal batteries, and then kind of miscellaneous chargers. We also have this little guy, which is uh, kind of a million and one uses. Uh, this just kind of holds all of our C47s and a lot of our little tools. Uh, we have our little tool rack, little drawers that have a bunch of different things. You can see real quick what you're getting. And then we just have our big shelving unit with a lot of our things. These are our walkies, these are our rigs, a lot of our Pelican cases and kind of our other things with like lighting and stingers and other things. We have a lot of our jacks for our flats here, as well as some other kind of bigger set pieces. These are what we use on shoot days. So pretty much if a person has a costume, then instead of taking it off and putting it in our hamper, they can just take it off and put it up here since we tend to use the same costume for multiple videos if it's just a casual costume that can be used for multiple commercials. And then we have our YouTube setup. Uh, this is just our plug and play YouTube setup desk. We did a YouTube video on how to set one of these up. So if you're interested in that, check out that video. We also wanted to make sure that when we came into the studio, we needed to do very minimal setup and that includes lighting. So if you see on the backs of all the sets, we we have a bunch of china balls set up so those are pre-lighting all the back and giving hair lights and then in front of all the sets we also have these big LED soft boxes that we can turn and these just give even more of a key light or a side light or a hair light depending on what we're using it for uh, so that they can be turned to be on multiple sets as you can see they're all spread throughout the studio if we need to come in and start shooting we really don't need to do a whole lot of lighting because everything is pretty well pre-lit so the back area and the swing set really need a lot of work. There were big holes in the wall on the walls that needed patched up and painted. Everything needed mopped and cleaned. And eventually we put in a marble faux floor. There was electrical in the ground that needed to be patched up and made safe to be able to walk on. And then the full crew came together to put everything together and make it look like an actual set. We have a little makeup station because mostly when we shoot in here, it's. Uh, mostly women in the bedroom, but if not, we just remove all this and then we put a laptop there or something. This, again, modular, movable. This is also movable, it's just really light. We have a bunch of paintings that we <laughs> accrued over the year, as well as a bed that we got from a prior shoot, so we're just kind of reusing old uh, products that we got, as well as a little nightstand. Again, we're trying to make everything modular and kind of flow into each other and really utilize the space. So if we have this closed, it just looks like a normal bedroom. This could be a closet, this could be a bathroom, this could be a door to the hallway. But when we open it up, <laughs> okay, take two. But when we open it up, you can see that it leads right into our break room slash green room where all of our actors stay until we're ready to use them. The break room also needed a lot of work. It used to be a storage room for what it was before, and there actually wasn't a wall from the main studio to the break room. So we needed to make an opening for a door, and we needed to make a step down platform so that it would be safe walking into the break room. It also needed a lot of cleaning and organizing to make it look really nice so that actors and people waiting to shoot would want to spend time in there. The last thing we did is we made caricatures for all the people in the studio, including our cast and crew, and we thought it would just add kind of a little touch to the wall in there so when people People went in they could see themselves or if there was a studio rental they could see what we're all about so now we're in our bathroom set and basically it doesn't really have any walls this way since we can shoot a lot this way again sync doesn't work put some fog on the mirror so that we can still shoot here, but it doesn't give a reflection so that it doesn't show out in the studio. Toilet, again, doesn't work. And then just some nice little set dressing for that. Um, we do have a shower here and just a back of a, a shower right here as well. If we really need to, we can put this up on an apple box and it'll be about this high and it'll actually look like a shower. Eventually we'll make this into a permanent fixture, but for now this is working fine. And then we have just a little safety precaution if you're really tall to make sure you don't hit your head on this. So now we are in our grocery store aisle set. So it might look really small and it actually is, but it does look a lot bigger on camera. Basically, uh, the last thing we shot on here was kind of a convenience store slash uh, drug store. So that's why we have just a bunch of shampoo bottles and everything. And we have a little, 
uh, shopping basket right there. But yeah, so pretty much if we just ever need to get a shot in a grocery store or a store in general, then one person can be here, another person can be here, and if we shoot over the shoulder this way and that way, then it just looks like the corner of a grocery store. So if you're over here, you can see that I'm doing grocery stuff and it looks good. All right, guys, like I said, this will be a few video tour just because we really wanted to get in depth with each video and each set and each location. So feel free to subscribe so that you guys are notified for when the next segment of the studio tour comes out and we will catch you in the next one.